Hello, everybody. Anybody ready for some trivia tonight? Looks like we got one person watching right now. Or waiting. We'll hang out a minute. Oh, hello, where to begin, Homestead? How are you this evening? I assume you can hear me and see me. We'll hang out a minute and see if we gather a crowd. Can you hear me where to begin homestead? Waiting on the big freeze. Well, they're still saying here in Georgia that it's not going to get below freezing. I think it's supposed to get to 34. And in the higher elevation, it could be spotty frost. Um, if we get a frost, we are in big trouble. We have uh, 227 tomato plants in the ground outside. And we also just replanted a bunch of peppers. There's a whole video on why we had to replant them, but we just replanted, I think it was 25 we put out today. Um, we'll see. Expecting snow, holy moly. Uh, Indiana Backyard Gardener, how are you this evening? Where to begin homestead? Do you have anything out in the ground that you have to worry about now? For the snow? Um, I'm in 7B. If you're talking to me, Indiana Backyard Gardener. I don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking to where to begin homestead. And our predicted last frost date was between April the 1st and April the 15th. So theor theoretically, we should not have um, a frost, but, you know. Hello, Half Pathways Homestead. Happy to see you here. Snuggly in the heated greenhouse. Good job. <laughs> so, um, Pathways Homestead, I don't think you've been to uh, my trivia as of yet. Um, we're just hanging out for a bit to see if anybody joins in with us. And then um, we'll start the trivia and... I usually have first, second, and third prize winners tonight. There's just going to be a first place prize winner, but um, we will uh, 
On the 29th, there's another trivia, and they'll be first, second, and third place for that trivia. Those are my garden trivias that I do first, second, and third. Tonight is just kind of a fun trivia. Um, it's a bunch of useless facts I found that I found kind of funny. So uh, I put them in some trivia and thought we could have fun with it. Um, well, I'll explain how to play before we play, um, but it's 20 questions long and um, you'll just put your answers in the comments. Um, and tonight, I will show you what the top winner gets. It is a book called Trial and Error Over 700 Shortcuts, Tips, and Remedies for the Gardener. And what it looks like. And it's got uh, some lots of the tips in here um i actually need to do but um so i'll just read a couple of them uh so one of them is sprinkle baby powder on seedlings to deter rabbits from eating your plants um use empty citrus fruit rinds as seedling pots which that's interesting to me i, I would have never thought of that but uh they say it works. Hmm. Um, and there was another one in here that I found interesting. It's uh, to discourage moles. Make a wind tunnel by sink sinking a line of glass bottles into the soil with about one inch of neck exposed. The weird whistling sound of wind blowing across the bottle tops disrupts moles sensitive hearing and hinders their ability to find prey. So I thought that was interesting. Hello F&P Farms. How are you tonight? Tonight's big winner gets the trial and error 700 shortcuts tips and remedies for the gardener. Um, but I went and I got, I do a lot of thrift store shopping and I find really neat gardening books, cookbooks, all kinds of just neat books, um, that people donate, or I guess they have estate sales and if they can't sell it, they bring it to the Goodwill or, um, several churches around here have thrift stores too. And I go buy the books and I read them and get what I need out of them. and then. I don't, I give them away on my lives now. <laughs> okay, F&P Farms. Um, it'd be, I don't know, a couple minutes. To, I'll give you a little bit of time. We're still waiting for people to come in before we start playing. So you got a little bit of time. We're just going to hang out and chit chat. So has anybody got anything outside for this cold front that's coming through? Pathways Homestead, have you put anything outside in the ground yet? I wouldn't think so. It's still cold where you're at, isn't it? Yeah, the Goodwill rocks. Um, I haven't bought any new clothes, <laughs> brand new clothes in a very long time. Well, I say that, but I've got this brand new Shed Wars t-shirt on that I bought. But other than supporting the cause and uh, I did um, also buy some shirts uh, with our logo on it. And if anybody feels like they need a Britain Farms Homestead t-shirt, 
can go to amazon.com and look up Britain Farms t-shirts and all of our designs will come up and you can get you one. Tender stuff still in the greenhouse. Yeah, our cold frame, our window was full. All of our plants were getting so leggy because we just jumped the gun and started them way too early and we just shouldn't have. But um, we got most of the tomato plants put in the ground that we're going to put in the ground here. Um, we put in 227 and out of 227, only seven of, seven of them died. We replanted those this evening. Uh, he planted over a hundred pepper plants and there'll be a video about that, but they are all dead <laughs> and we just replanted 25 this evening. So I, we did do a little work in the garden before um, I jumped down here. Woke up to an inch of snow and still falling. Uh, I would just, uh, if I woke up to an inch of snow, all I could do was cry. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> I would just have to cry. <laughs> and then I would just have to wipe the tears and wait until it went away and replant everything. You guys know how it goes. It's very disheartening when things happen. At the thrift store yesterday, got you a new skirt. Yeah, I bought all my jeans there. Um, most of my shirts. Uh, I don't buy my undergarments there. I just, I just can't dig that, but... <laughs> So be it. If somebody else decides that's what they want to do, go for it. Uh, and another thing that I usually don't buy there is my boots, just because most of the boots that I find are already wore out. So I just have to go buy new boots when mine wear out. Where to begin homestead has strawberries blooming. Has anybody started strawberries from seed? Um, I'm actually trying that for the Shedworth challenge to buy something from the grocery store. And I've never done it, but I hope it works. We'll see. I've seen some people, um, you know, on YouTube do it. That's where I got the idea, but uh, never done it. My friends start seed often. Um, so I've seen lots of people do it well, several people do it different ways. Some people were just cutting the tops off and then, you know, eat the strawberry and then plant the top because there's still the rim with all the seeds on it. And then I saw some that uh, peeled the strawberry and just put the peel in there and just covered it with a little dirt. Do you know how they start theirs? I tried both. I don't know which one's going to work or if any of them's going to work. Just might take longer. Yeah, I watched several videos on it and, you know, several people had luck with it um, on the videos, but they use the peeled method. Okay. Well, maybe if one doesn't work, the other one will work and maybe I'll just get hot dog lucky and all of them will come up. <laughs> That'd be nice.
we planted uh, cabbage from seed, and it's the first time we've ever planted cabbage from seed. And um, I realized that when cabbage is uh, first sprouting, if that's what's happening, I don't know what it looks like. And we direct sowed it. So I don't know if my cabbage came up or not yet. Um, they're very tiny. Um, but I, I don't know what they look like that small. Because we usually plant cabbage from plants that we buy. But this year I was like, oh, we're going to try it from seed. And we direct sowed it. And I don't know. I don't know if it's cabbage or not. So we've got to hang out and wait and see. He might be giving away strawberry plants on a future trivia. That's right. Um, I actually have some irises, flowers, irises, and buttercups. And what else do I have? Something else. I don't remember at the moment, but they're all bulbs. And I'm going to give those away on a trivia um, at some point. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to take a picture of them because they're planted in the ground. Once they bloom, I'll take a picture of them. And then when I thin them out, I'll uh, keep the bulbs and give away some on the trivia. The irises are really pretty. Almost heart-shaped leaves. Look like a heart on each side. Okay. I will try to go out tomorrow and identify if that is what is in the uh, coming up because I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Look up brassica sprouts for a picture. Okay. I'll do that. I'll have to write that down though because. I will not remember because that's what I do. Don't remember. <laughs> okay. So I have it notated. So we'll wait about five more minutes and then we'll kick the trivia off. Um, just wanted to give some people some time to get in here. I may need to start making this later, bad as I hate to, because when it's over with, I'm ready to go to bed. But uh, other people are probably just now getting off work or just now getting home from work, eating. So they're not able to join in. Um, but I, the, not the 29th. It's already scheduled for eight o'clock. But the next one I might try at nine o'clock instead of eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll see because uh, it's uh, late for me to stay up that late because once I get done I still have other things to do you guys know how it is it's never ending chores so I hatched off some of our Polish chicken eggs and I have somebody that has some silkies. They want to trade me for the Polish babies. And I think we're going to get uh, three silkies. Oh, bye, Pathways Homestead. Maybe you can um, join in trivia next time. Thanks for coming, though. Tell Gary I said hi. You guys have a good night. Hello, micro farmer. How are you? 
just planted the okra seed we sent you. Well, I hope they work out well. Um, if they grow, you'll have more okra than you know what to do if you planted all those seeds that I sent you. <laughs> those was a lot of seeds. Yeah, I've never had Silky's Indiana Backyard Gardener, um, but I've heard that their temperament is really calm, cool, and collected, and they're okay with, you know, being around people, and uh, I was thinking that they could be chickens that my grandchildren could be around because they're smaller and uh, not be afraid of them because they're afraid my grandchildren are afraid of chickens. Or my chickens, anyway. Because they're bigger and they're... Uh... You got 72 of them planning to drop a video today about it. Nice. She had a silky in her bedroom for a year. <laughs> oh, hi, boots and bonnets. Glad you could make it. So it looks like we've got about nine people in here. Um, if everybody's ready, we can go ahead and start the trivia. I'll let you guys know that uh, jumped in after I'd already told everybody, but this is the book for the top winner tonight. It's called Trial and Error, Over 700 Shortcuts, Tips, and Remedies for the Gardener. And it has a lot of cool tips in here. Um, just one that's listed on the back, sprinkle baby powder on seeding seedlings to deter rabbits, to keep rabbits from eating your plants. Um, use empty citrus fruit rinds as seedling pots. And there's just a bunch of cool stuff in here. But tonight, the top winner will be getting this. Oh, thank you, Where to Begin Homestead. So, um, just a moment, and I will go on over here and... If you haven't been to the trivia before, you are able. You are able to. Um, put the answer or you are. Able to put the number of the answer so um it's all multiple choice and if you think the answer that's listed as number one you can just put number one in the chat um if for some reason you put in a answer and it puts you down for the wrong answer you have to let me know because it keeps up with that not me so i don't look at everybody's answer that comes in the chat but i do want to be fair and i want everything to work out well but I think I've got it fixed from the last time. Um, it was kind of a little bit of chaos going on, but I think I've got it fixed. So if it puts you down for the wrong answer, let me know. And whatever you put down first, that's the answer it's going to take. So if you put down number one and then you change your mind, and you put down number four, it's going to go, should go with number one. Um, and you can also just type in the answer if you don't want to use the numbers. So if everybody's ready, we will go right over here. And just a moment.
All right. So I will also be reading the questions and answers out loud because um, people on a phone or a tablet, it's going to be hard for them to read the questions, read the answers. So I will read the multiple choices out loud. I'll read the question out loud so they can just answer and they don't have to worry about reading. Um, so you'll be able to hear me, but you won't be able to see me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up full screen. All right. So if everybody's ready, we will get started. The countdown is on. Oh, you're welcome, Indiana Backyard Gardener. When I first started this, I didn't realize it was so small for people. And then I had a friend say, you know, I came to your trivia, but I couldn't read the questions or the answers. And I could see, I just couldn't see anything. And I said, oh, I need to read those out loud. <laughs> And tonight is not garden trivia. It's just a uh, useless fact trivia. It's a bunch of useless facts that I found and they're multiple choice. And I thought several of them was pretty funny. So uh, I thought we'd just have fun tonight with these. On the 29th, we will have, uh, I think it's fruit and vegetable trivia. And these countdowns is the longest part for me. All right. Question number one. In California, you can't legally buy a mousetrap without having what? Number one, a exterminator's license. Number two, a state ID. Number three, a driver's license. Number four, a hunting license. Hello, Allison Catlett. Glad you made it in. Hi, Drops Family Garden. Hi, Tom Prentice. Thanks for coming in, guys. And the answer is number four, a hunting license. It is illegal to do what? in the French vineyards. Number one, drink wine. Number two, dance in the moonlight. Number three, camp. Number four, land a flying saucer. Yeah, drops. I have no idea. I have no reasoning behind these facts that I found, <laughs> but I thought they were pretty funny. <laughs>
Hi, Ridge Life. Thanks for coming in. Where to begin a homestead? I would hope that everybody is guessing tonight because these are some of these are just crazy. And they're useless facts. And I don't know why anybody would know them. So the answer is number four, land a flying saucer. See what I mean? <laughs> Who knows that? And why did they make this law? How many flying saucers have they had? In Texas, it's illegal to swear in front of what? A child, a corpse, a woman, anyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Number one, a child. Number two, a woman. Number three, a corpse. Number four, anyone. <laughs> yeah, right. If I have a flying saucer, I'm going to test that law too. <laughs> Yeah, boots and bonnets pick the dumbest answer. That goes uh, with some of them anyway. And the answer is number three. In Texas, it's illegal to swear in front of a corpse. And what corpse has complained about this for <laughs> this law to be put in? In Minnesota, it is illegal Tease what type of animal? Number one, a badger. Number two, a dog. Number three, a skunk. Number four, a chicken. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone is right. <laughs> and the answer is number three, a skunk. So all these laws that I found, which most of them are just not so crazy. Who put these laws in and why? I want to know the exact episode that came forth to make this happen. <laughs> in June, in Wyoming, it is illegal to take a picture of what? A statue, a waterfall, a rabbit, a graveyard. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to give the numbers. Number one, a statue. Number two, a rabbit. Number three, a waterfall. 
Number four, a graveyard. And the answer is number two, a rabbit. So don't any of you be going to Wyoming in June, be taking pictures of rabbits because it's illegal. <laughs> Where were the first... Uh, Oh, sorry. Where were the fortune cookies invented? Number one, China. Number two, San Francisco. Number three, Alabama. Number four, Amsterdam. And the answer is number two, San Francisco. Who would have thunk it, right? What is banned in public places in Florida after 6 p.m. on a Thursday? Number one, farting. Number two, nose picking. Number three, public battles. Number four, fortune telling. And the answer is number one, farting. So this really <laughs> makes me wonder what went down in Florida after 6 p.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> what actually happened? Sweet baby Jesus.
When held to ultraviolet light, what animal's urine glows in the dark? Number one, a snake. Number two, a cat. Number three, a dog. Number four, a monkey. <laughs> Swamp gas. <laughs> Uh, that's right, drops. <laughs> See, we're learning all kinds of stuff this evening. You can go <laughs> share these useless facts with all your friends and family. And the answer is number two, a cat. <laughs> you learned that from the show Hoarders. Oh, some of those people are just so pitiful. I feel so bad for them. It's really sad. According to Russian law, a homeless person must be where after 10 p.m.? Number one, a shelter. Number two, a church. Number three, a home. Number four, a doghouse. And the answer is number three, they should be at their home. Thank you for coming in, Diana. Oh, and thanks for um, sharing me out. Yeah, it makes no sense, right? Indiana Backyard Gardener on Sunday. <laughs> what is illegal to sell in Columbus, Ohio? Number one, beer. Number two, Cornflakes, number three, a Bible, number four, fruit. <laughs> right? They're homeless. How can they go to their home? Makes no sense. <laughs>
And the answer is number two, cornflakes. So don't be expecting to have run to the store on Sunday morning in Columbus, Ohio to buy cornflakes. It's a no-no. I don't have a reason why. <laughs> I wish I did, though. What is illegal to eat with cherry pie in Kansas? Number one, fruit. Number two, ice cream. Number three, syrup. Number four, milk. Yeah, Diana, these are uh, wonky facts that I found. They're just, uh, I think it's called laws that are still on the books that shouldn't be or something to that effect. And the answer is number two, ice cream. Wonder if somebody got a brain freeze or something while eating their cherry pie with ice cream. And they said, oh, that's enough. We're cutting that out. No more ice cream and cherry pie. What ailment? kills most fruit flies one constipation two dehydration three fever number four bacterial infection <laughs> right ice cream and cherry pie mm. any kind of pie and ice cream it's pretty yummy I wonder if some of the restaurants there are serving cherry pie and on the down low, you can get ice cream with it, but uh, you have to go in a back room or the bathroom or something to eat it so they can't see you. And the answer is number one, constipation. Who would have thought it that little fruit flies can't take a poo and it kills them? Most of them. Right? For an extra five, we can get you some ice cream. <laughs> Where do you do kiwi fruits originally come from? One, Mexico. Two, China. Three, Australia. Four, the Philippines.
Hello, Gail. Thanks for joining us. Did you sneak in on me? I just now saw you. I don't know how long you've been here. I'm sorry. We've been talking about these crazy questions we've had here. So the answer is number two, China. What was the first fruit that was eaten on the moon? Number one, an apple. Number two, a peach. Number three, an orange. Number four, a melon. And the answer was number two, a peach. I wonder how they chose what fruit was going to the moon. Did they have a vote about it? Did the astronauts get to say, well, I really like peaches. That's what I want to take. How do you tell the age of a horse? Number one, it's tail. Number two, it's eyes. Number three, it's teeth. Number four, it's hoofs. And the answer is number three, teeth. Hello, Ruth Hall. That's my mom, guys. Hello, Shangy girl. Thanks for coming in. What color is the black box in an airplane? Number one, yellow. Number two, orange. Number three, red. Number four, black. Well, thanks for coming over from um, Diana. She said she had shared me out and thanks for coming over.
And the answer is number two, orange. That's right where to begin homestead. That's pretty tricky, tricky. You'd think the black box would be black, right? <laughs> no, not at all. How many noses does a slug have? Number one, two. Number two, seven. Number three, four. Number four, ten. Yeah, as soon as this live's over, I'm going to be down to uh, get some of that beans and okra and cornbread. And the answer is number three, slugs have four noses. Mama, I don't know who got paid to count the slug noses. They paid enough. I would count. Them. Uh, did you just come in here to wreak havoc? <laughs> That's a good question. What is the world record? For number of hot dogs eaten in one sitting, number one, 100, number two, 74, number three, 95, number four, 55. Slugs are four faced. <laughs> ah. I used to have some friends that were probably slugs. <laughs> he learned to weed those out pretty quick. And the answer is number two, 74. Hello, Camos and Bows Homestead. Thanks for coming in. What U.S. states constitution is the longest in the world. Number one, New York. Number two, Florida. Number three, Alabama. Number four, Michigan. Hi, Lori's World. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, anybody that just got in, um, you can just type the number of the answer you think it is in the chat. Um, you don't have to write out the answer if you don't want.
And the answer was number three, Alabama. Well, you're welcome anytime, camos and bows. Um, I do it once or twice a month. Um, this one was just scheduled today, but I have one on the 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to come back, it's a fruits and vegetables trivia. What is the number one seller at Walmart? Number one, bananas. Two, apples. Three, hamburger meat. Number four, loaf bread. Tonight, we're just having a, these are silly questions, or most of them are silly, silly questions and uh, worthless, useless facts I found um, and thought it would just be fun. And so far it has. Some of the questions are just nutty, but <laughs> they're pretty funny sometimes. And the answer is number one, bananas. Who would have thunk it? All right. So it looks like F and P Farms got it tonight. Um, just a moment. F and P Farms. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, F and P Farms. I'm gonna put. My email. All right. F and P Farms, there is my email address. Please send me your mailing address. This is what she won. Trial and error. 700 shortcuts, tips, and remedies for the gardener. Um, I give up. Uh, cookbooks, uh, gardening, canning books, dehydrating books on my lives. Um, and <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Um, I like hosting them. But uh, send me your address. I will get this out in the mail. I hope I can get it out this weekend, but I can't promise that. So I'll have it out by next week for sure. And anybody that enjoys the trivias, there's another one already scheduled for the 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can show you what I'm going to give away. Oh, hang on just a minute. Well, it's got a big fat sticker on it. I'm just trying to get it off. So it's another book, of course. I usually do books. Um, sometimes I do seeds. I have give away a canning utensil set. Um, but this will be the book. It's still got sticker residue on it um, that I'll give away 
on the 29th to the top winner. There'll be three winners actually on the 29th, first, second, and third place. But the top winner will get this um, root cellaring, natural cold storage of fruits and vegetables. So this will be the one that will be given out on the 29th. And I don't know the second and third place prizes as of yet, but stay tuned. Come back the 29th and you'll find out. Um, but I guess I'll jump off here. I have not had supper yet, guys, and uh, I need to go eat. What a nasty room. What are you talking about, mother? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, but uh, I have to go and I hope everybody has a great night. God bless you all and um, nothing but well wishes to all of you. And I hope uh, everybody has a great night. Yes, that's my mother. <laughs> Lori's world. She's being crazy. I don't know what she's doing or what she's talking about. Oh, I know what she's talking about. She's talking about my dad's office. This is my dad's office. I got to go <laughs> before we get into how my dad is almost a hoarder. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night.